Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Alfredo. Hi. Hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome, Alfredo. Hello, welcome, Mauricio. Hello, welcome, Blanca. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, buenas noches. Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. All right, uh, can somebody tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember from the previous class? Somebody? What information do you remember from the previous class? And um, how do you spell um, my, no my number? Okay, how do you spell your name? Can you give me an example? Can you give me an example? Um, my name is Alfredo, and that is spelled. That is, that is spelled. How do you spell that? How do you spell that? Tendría que ver con alguien más, teacher. That's right. A L F R E D O. Thank you, Alfredo. What other information do you remember from the previous class? Alphabet. Okay. Cantamos. That is correct. The alphabet. Can you give me the alphabet, please? Somebody give me the alphabet. Cantado, teacher, porque cantado no mucho. That's okay. Now you can sing it or not sing it. Whatever. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and Z. Perfect. X, Y, and Z. All right. Good job, Alfredo. Select somebody, Alfredo. Jennifer de Reyes. Jennifer de Reyes. ¿Qué tienen contra mí? <laughs> okay, siempre el ABC. Yes. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. Very good. Excellent. Now, Jennifer, ask Alfredo. Alfredo, respond. What's your name? My name is Alfredo. How do you spell that? That's A-L-F-R-E-D-O. What's your last name? My last name is Abarca. How do you spell that? That's A-B-A-R-C-A. -A -A. And then vice versa. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. How do you spell that? That's J-E-N-N-I-F-E-R. All right, go ahead. Jennifer, begin. Okay. What's your first name? My first name is Alfredo. How do you spell that? That's spelled A L F R E D O, Alfredo. Okay, what's your last name? My last name is Abarca. How do you spell that? That is spelled A B A. R C A. Perdón. Okay. A. Abarca. Excellent. Now, vice versa. How do you, uh, what's your first name? My first name is Jennifer. How do you spell that? That spell is 
J E N N I F E R. What's your last name? My last name is Reyes. How do you spell that? That spell is R E Y, -Y E S. Perfect. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> All right, now Jennifer select somebody and Alfredo select somebody. Uh, Amilcar Serrano. Okay, Milka Regina. Serrano. Regina. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, right. Um, okay. Um, what's your first name? My my first name is Amilcar. What do you spell? Spell that. Uh, that spell is A M I L C A R. Um, what's, what's your last name? My last name is Serrano. How do you spell that? Spell. How do you spell, spell that? that? Spell that. Spell that. How do you spell that? That spell is S T R R A N O. Um, that's it. Well, that's it. That's it. Now, Amilcar, ask okay. and Regina respond. Okay. Um, what is your first name? What's your uh, first name? Sorry. My name is. Regina. How do you spell that? Um, R E I M A. How? Um, how? Uh, what is your last name? My last name is Perez. How do you spell that? P E R E Z. Um, what is your father's name? Perdón, excuse me. What is your father's name? No, no, no. That's good enough. Uh, that's good enough. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this moment, does anybody have any questions uh, about the topics that we were practicing uh, last week and today? Uh, Nobody? Questions? Teacher, uh, I have a question. In the activity that we were seeing the numbers of the telephone, Uh -huh. um, había una hay una parte donde hay que colocar los números de teléfono de no sé si no, sé, no me recuerdo muy bien que era uh, de la mamá parece del papá algo así eh, que, que, y eso hay que complementarlo porque veía unos ejemplos hay que hacer esos mismos ejemplos that is correct that is correct okay. yeah just write them okay. on the discussion forum thank you so today okay. guys we're going to look at the following activity which is going to be coming from this section right here, which is section 2.0, lesson objective. If you have any activities that you have not finished uh, in the previous unit or in the previous section, that is your homework, right? Everybody should finish section one. Right now we are starting section two. By the end of this class, you will become familiar with common objects, language that people have in their bags. Al final de esta clase, ustedes van a familiarizarse con lenguaje de objetos comunes 
que las personas llevan en sus bolsos. So, right now, you are going to listen to the conversation. Listen to the video. A cell phone. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio, and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. Hi everyone. In this class you'll become familiar with common objects which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. All right, so now I would like for everybody to please listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Sun What's in your bag? What's in your bag? What's in your bag? What's in your bag? An address book. An address book. An address book. A hairbrush. A hairbrush. A wallet. A wallet. Okay, I want you to notice that we have a, uh, and an. M, M. What is the difference between a uh, and an? What is the difference? La diferencia es su valor. Sorry, repeat. Who can tell me what is the difference between a y an? A es una, an un, creo. De hecho, es lo mismo, un y un. Lo que sucede es que la forma como se escribe, eh, a va con, con consonantes y an va con vocal. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Very good. Amilcar, that is correct. So we use a with vowel, right? For example, we say with a consonant, a car, singular, singular, a teacher, right, singular, a book, singular, for the consonants, these are all consonants. Consonant pronunciation, consonant. Here we say an, for example, an apple, an octopus, octopus, an umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. An igloo, igloo, an elephant, right? All of these are vowels. So if I'm going to use a vowel, I'm going to use an for the vowel, and I'm going to use a for the consonant. All, all of these are singular. Repeat, an address book. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. A wallet. Notice that sunglasses, 
doesn't have a or an. Why? Why? Porque es plural y el otro es singular. A mail car. Excellent. Very good. That is correct. Right? So, sunglasses is singular or plural? Plural. Plural. So, we don't use a or an. No. Because it's plural. If I say students, singular or plural? Plural. Plural. So, no a, no an. If I say cars, singular or plural? Plural. Plural. So I cannot say mm. a or an. Any questions? Mm. Okay. Estoy viendo. Eh, guys, los voy a poner en silencio porque se escucha bastante interferencia. Lizette Palma, por favor mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Guys, si usted sabe que alrededor suyo hay ruido, hay una tele, hay algún perro ladrando, hay algunos niños ahí jugando, por favor mantenga su micrófono en silencio, porque perturbe toda la clase, porque todos escuchamos lo que está diciendo. Ok, so please, si usted sabe que va a contestar el teléfono, va a platicar con otra persona, póngalo en silencio, así no perturbamos a las personas. Okay, let's look at the next one. So, in this section, what you're going to do is everybody is going to go here where it says the discussion forum. Discussion forum. You're going to say, you're going to go where it says add a post. Click add a post. And where it says uh, title, you're going to write your name. Ruben Santos in this case. And then here you're going to write your sentences. You're going to give me five examples. For example, I have a wallet in my pocket. I have a smart TV in my room. I have a soda in the refrigerator. All right, so you're going to give me five examples, original examples, in the discussion forum, and then you click submit like that, right? And you're going to have the examples. I have a wallet in my pocket. I have a smart TV in my room. I have a soda in the refrigerator. Any questions referring to this activity? Yes, I have, I have, and yo tengo? That is correct. Oh, okay. Yes, that is correct. I okay. have, yes. I have a Mosquito rack. <laughs> I have a pen. I have a notebook. Do you understand? Okay. You're going to work in pairs to complete this activity. Work in pairs to complete this activity. Ready and let's go. Ding, 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 ding. Click enter, please. Click enter. Let's go, let's go. Click enter, 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 enter. Uh, Jennifer Reyes, Jennifer Reyes. 
Hola. Hello. Sí, soy la misma persona. Ok, cool. No, no hay problema. <laughs> no, no, no. Ok. Eh, right ¿Puedo, now... ¿Puedo quedarme aquí por el momento? Yes. Ok, es que quiero hacerlo yo solo a ver qué, qué tal me va. Ok, go ahead. Hi, Regina. Hello, Alfredo. Working Hello. pairs. Working Hello. pairs. Regina. Tiene a pencil y yo a pencil y yo. Cartera, lo voy a buscar, no me acuerdo cómo bag. es. Creo que va, creo, bolso o cartera. Va. Uh -huh. Y brazos, ¿cómo se dirá? Porque se me ocurre decir, él tiene, él tiene un bebé en su en brazo o él tiene un bebé. Oh, Ajá, ya lo entendí. Ajá. Uh -huh. O si no pongamos... Porque solo es con en singular, ¿verdad? Mm. Podemos poner, bueno. yo tengo una camisa. Ah, también. Mm -hmm. I have a, a, a t-shirt. ¿Cómo se escribe? T-shirt. Sí, es camiseta. Ajá. Shirt puede ser. S H I R T. Llevamos cuatro. Ajá. Eh, Podemos ponerle este. Ellos tienen zapatos negros. Cuando se dice ellos se dice they, vea. They. Uh -huh. they. They have. have. Ellos tienen. Uh, eh, Zapatos uh. se dice shoes. Ah, pero sería zapatos. Zapatos, ajá. Sería zapatos. plural. Ajá. Entonces no sería a ah, nada más, ¿verdad? Mm. Sería an, porque para cuándo fue, sí, para an creo que dijo que era plural. No me acuerdo. Quiero mm. ver, no, en el ejemplo solo veo singular. Dijémosle así y le preguntamos. O quizás solo eran singulares, no, no sé si no le preguntamos. Yo creo que algo explicó, pero no le comprendí muy bien. They have. Bueno, vamos a decir: They have. They have. And they shoes. Have. Both. If you want to do singular, you can do singular or you can do plural. Ah. Sería singular. Ah, uh, singular y an singular. Both are singular. Ambos. Mm -hmm. Entonces le ponemos aquí. They have. And shoes. And shoes. And. S H O E S. S H O E S. Y el. Bueno, a ver qué te sale. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya llevamos okay. las cinco. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Ok. Lo voy a subir ya. Ya lo va a subir. Es que yo no puedo usar casi esta cosa. Submit, dale. No, sí, sí, pero es que no...
Bueno, no sé si será por la señal, pero me cuesta abrir. No sé si será muy pesada. Ah, hasta bien. Pero voy a probar otro ratito. Vaya, vaya. Uh -huh. De acuerdo. Gracias. Bien. Ana. Yo creo que ya vamos a regresar. Sí, gracias, Ana. Vaya, no me aparece su nombre. All right, let me have Virginia Rivas, Virginia. Teacher. Go ahead, Virginia. Let me hear your examples. Eh, fíjense que no los he terminado porque no los, no los empecé y, y me estaba explicando una cosita, Milka, con respecto a eso. Okay. Sí. Whatever you have, whatever you have. Whatever, whatever examples you have. Los míos. That's right. Pues ahí vamos a, bueno, recuerdo que me dijo él que, bueno, en el caso ahí vamos a poner, I had a, recuerdo cuál era, creo que lo estaba poniendo. Sería acá, no sé si, eh, sería I had a address. Sí. Okay, you can say I have a dress in the closet. Pardon? I have a dress in the closet. I have a dress in the closet. Another example? Okay, can you give me another example? Um, I have a book. See? Mm -hmm. And the, my mesa um, sería. I have a book. In my... How do you say librera? Mm. No sé, no sé okay, you will say, I have a book in the bookcase. Bookcase. All right, thank you. Virginia, Mauricio, can I have an example? Uh, I have a word in my pocket. Bueno, es lo primero, lo que usted había dicho, pero uh -huh. uh, aquí está. I have a coffee in the refrigerator. Very good. I, I have. have... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a car in the garage. Okay, excellent. I have a shoes. The, the closet. Mm, do I say a shoes or only shoes? I have a shoes in the closet. Mm. Tengo zapatos en el armario, ¿cómo sería? Uh -huh. Tenía duda, tenía duda en eso. Yes, remember that a and an are only for singular. Shoes is plural. Uh -huh. So it's not necessary to use a or an. So you're going to say, I have shoes in the closet. But I don't say a shoes or an shoes, only I have shoes. <laughs> I had a smart TV in my black, black, black room. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Applause for Mauricio oh, and Virginia. Insane. Thank you, Mauricio and Virginia. Uh, let me have uh, the next participant, please. Ada Daisy Arevalo. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Los ejemplos. That is correct. Please give me your examples. Um, I have a cat in my house. I have a car in my garage. Mm -hmm. She have a pencil in your bag. Mm -hmm. I have a shield. No la completé. Y they have a, a tooth. Ah, shoes or shoes? Uh, shoes. Shoes, that's right. It's plural, it's not necessary. Ah, only singular. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, so I want everybody, please write it here in this section. Now, what you're going to do is by the end of this class, you will become familiar with the usage of this and these. Al final de esta clase, se familiarizarán con el uso de this y these, este y estos. Please take notes. Discussion forms. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out, T H I S. Whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these that spell out T H E S E. Whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? They're earrings or they're cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? their keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers 3, 
4, 5, and 6. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay, so what you're going to do with this activity right here is we are going to be looking at this picture. Ask in the following way. What are these? They're earrings or they're cameras, for example, right? For our practice. All right, so for example, you're going to go down here where it says discussion forum here at a post. All right. Sorry. So we're going to go where it says at a post. Okay. And we're going to go here and you're going to write where it says title. Title. You're going to write your name. Ruben, for example, Ruben Santos. Here, you're going to write, for example, number one, what are these? They are keys. So you're going to say, number one, what are these? And then you respond, what are these? their keys. What are these? Their keys. Okay. Then number two. What is number two? CD player. You're going to say, what's this singular? And you say, it a CD player. Hello, Ana Mejia. Raise your hand. Eh, sería this, ¿verdad? En la primera. The, this. Uh -huh. This, porque es singular. I ah, no. no. Number one is plural. Keys, number one. Number two, CD player. Number three, book bag or backpack. Number four, watch. Number five, CD player. And number six, sunglasses. Okay, solo creo que era un error de, de una letrita que se le fue de más, creo. Okay. Ah, sí. This. La S. These, okay. Uh -huh. All right, so you're going to give me six examples and then submit here on the discussion forum. And then you're going to have your examples right there. What are these? They are keys. What's this? It's a CD player. All right, so you're going to give me six examples from the picture. Any questions? Any questions? Six examples? Pero diferente, ¿verdad? Uh, no, no, no. The same examples. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to look at the same examples as here in the picture. All right. Ready? Let's go.
Ajá, no, 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 no pasa nada. Porque aquí estoy viendo que dice next, next, pero no, no Ajá. veo eh. esa. Pero es de la imagen que él estaba haciendo. Sí, va, entonces esa la vamos a poner ahí en el cosito. Yo ahorita las estoy pasando aquí en el cuaderno primero. Ah, Ajá. Sí. Vaya, entonces sería la, la primera y la segunda ya está contestada. ¿va? Entonces la tercera sería what are what are, are porque como está hablando de Dover, porque hay dos group uh -huh. back. What are these? Ajá. This porque, es, porque estás hablando de singular. Ajá. Entonces vamos a responder. It a. No, there are. There. Y como está contractado. Es, es, sí. Are. They are. They are a book yeah. bag. No. Bag. Book bag. Entonces, la cuatro sería what. Como solo es una, ¿verdad? What, what is. Uh -huh. What is. Yeah. Y la respuesta sería. This a clock. O cómo se llama reloj de, de, de mano. O así. No. Eh, bueno, yo solo le he oído que dicen... A clock, pero no sé si. Clock. Mm, pero no, no estoy segura si es solo a clock, pero yo creo que no, creo que es. No. Watch. 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 Thank uh, you. Watch. This a watch. Watch. It's a watch. Watch. It's a watch. What is. What. Ah, is this, vea. What is this? Son los aritos, no. No, no sé, no me fijé realmente qué era. Are you finished? No. Como un bolso, creo que. Um. Un bolso, no lente, el teléfono, el live player, ¿Ah? un reloj. Sí, sí. CD el tercer, el tercero teacher es un bolso, ¿va? That's right, backpack. Bolso, ¿va? That's correct, backpack. ¿Cómo, cómo se escribe eso? Eh, backpack, B-A-C-K-P-A-K-S. Ok, gracias. Entonces un bolso es, a ver. ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo se modifica usted? Tengo mi de herramienta. Porque, okay. bueno, solo pregunta supuestamente qué es esto, ¿verdad? Y uno va respondiendo. Mm. Ajá, yo sí lo entendí. El, el, en base al, 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 al vídeo. Porque la primera era, where is, es una llave, ¿verdad? La segunda, where uh -huh. is, where is, es una CD player. La tercera. Es lo del bolso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La tercera. ¿Entendió cómo se escribe a bolso? B-A-G. No. No, yo no le capté cómo se, cómo se escribe. 
Yo así entendí, pero no estoy segura. <risa> Y lo vamos a cambiar, bueno, por ejemplo, cuando le pregunta, ¿qué es esto? Y usted le responde, ¿es un bolso? Es, es, de una sola vez, es, no sé cómo se espera, me voy a buscar, ¿cómo se dice el bol, 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 bolso? La respuesta sería, ah, this habab, is... Habab, ajá. Habab, ajá. Habab, ajá. Es eh, igual, en la siguiente pregunta, vuelve a hacer lo mismo, ¿qué es esto, verdad? Y sería que... This is a watch. No sé cómo se dice. <risa> a watch. No estoy seguro si así sería la respuesta. Teacher, I tell teacher. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. I'm right here. <risa> Do you have a question? I can help you. Um, por ejemplo. <coughs> Cuando, cuando, en todos me preguntan qué es eso, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces yo solamente voy respondiendo lo que es. That is correct. Ok. La puerta es un reloj, ¿eh? That's right. A watch is a wristwatch. A watch. Entonces sería quad. Quad are. Traducción sería qué es un qué es esto. What is this? It's a wristwatch. What is what is this? What is this? It's a wash. It's a wash. It's a wash, teacher. That is correct. It's a watch. El otro es un el cinco. Es un celular, creo, es el self. La cinco. Sí, el teléfono. Pero es self. Self, self. No, no, no sé cómo no, lo pronuncio. Es... Pero no es celular. Pero no es celular. Pero es celular. Pero es celular. Sí. Pero es. Ese es cuarisdis. 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 Entonces sería. Es un celular. Ah. A, a cell phone. Y a cell phone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque celular no solo es teléfono. Y el otro es. Esos son anteojos. Entonces, ¿qué son estos? Sería acá, vea, guap. What is this? What is this? Los lentes serían como eh, ese es como en plural, ¿verdad? o no sé cómo se dice lentes. Uh, sunglasses. Sunglasses de, de, de sol y de que es diferente, ahí no me acuerdo cómo es. That's right. Uh. ¿Cuáles son los de sol y los de los normales? Digamos. Eh, sunglasses estos. is from the sun. Y normal glasses is only glasses. 
Son, se puede decir, son lentes, are, are glasses. Are glasses, that's right. Sería solamente así, are glasses. They are glasses, that's right. They are glasses. They, they, are, they are glasses. They are glasses. They are glasses. They are glasses. Este sería, what are, what are these? What are these? What are these? They are humble. Humble. What is this? It is a wash. What is this? It is a cell phone. What are these? They are classes. Supongo que sí, eh? Y hay que subirla ya. Yes, si please. Yo la estoy subiendo en solo. Ok. Ya. Solo son seis, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, guys, can I have uh, one volunteer, please? One volunteer, please. Hello, hello, volunteer. Okay, hola, hola. Okay, let me have a volunteer. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, go ahead. Sería entonces en la uno, what are these? What are these? La respuesta, they are uh, kids. En la segunda, what is this? En la respuesta sería, it's a CD player. It's a CD player. Uh -huh. La tercera, what are these? Uh, they are backpacks. They are backpacks, excellent. En la cuatro, uh, what is this? It is, uh, or it's a uh, watch. It's a watch. Perfect. A watch. Perfect. In a cinco, eh, what is what is this? Eh, la respuesta, it's a cell phone. In a seis, what are these? They are sun, sunglasses. They are sunglasses. Perfect. Are sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, at this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions referring to this activity that we have today? Questions at this moment? Nobody? Okay, now what Hello, we are... Una, perdón. Yes. Este, el, el, la forma contractada se dice igual que decir... What are these? Ah, okay. So if I say, what are these? That is full form. What are these? Right, I say, what are these? What are these? And you can say they are, or you can say they're. So this is the full form, and this is the contraction. Repeat, they are. They are. They are. They are. They are. 
They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are. It's different pronunciation. They are. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at this section and you are going to complete the sentence, complete the sentence depending on what you see in the picture. Okay, let me see, somebody raise your hand. Who raised your hand? Uh, okay, Jacqueline Sosa, raise your hand. Tengo una duda. En yes. la respuesta contestamos con pronombre personal. Uh, for what, what answer? En estas preguntas, por ejemplo, eh, what are these? Ah, no, no, no. You're going Entonces to... Entonces está ahí, they are, o le gonna... ponen it. Yes, you're going to look at these uh, pictures, for example. What are these? They are keys, right? These are keys. And then we're going to look at number two. Number two. What's this, right? In this case, yes. we're going to say it's a CD player. A CD player. Que me quedaba la duda porque no decíamos this or this, a CD player. Oh, you can say it also. Yes, you can say that. Yes. Porque yeah. ponemos el pronombre, it is, esto es, ¿verdad? Pero, mm -hmm. pero usamos it is como decir esto es, pero right. como pronombre. Pero aquí los, no contestamos con this, 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 tos, mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. a la pregunta. Yeah, you Por can, eso me quedaba la duda. Yes. Uh, you can respond in both. Ah, bien. Both. You can say, this is a CD player uh -huh. or it's ¿Sí? a CD player. Ah, bien, 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 bien. Gracias. Me quedaba esa duda. Yes, that's okay. Thank you. Uh, number two, what mm, they are backpacks. So we say, what are these? What are these? Uh, number four, what's this? It's a watch. It's a watch. Oh, this is a watch. Whatever you want to say. What is this? It's a cell phone. It's a cell phone. What are these? They're sunglasses. They're sunglasses. They are a sunglass. Mm -hmm. They are sunglasses. Okay, guys, your homework is uh, to continue working on the platform. Remember, there's no limit for the work that you can continue doing on the platform. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.